Dr. Stanley Dodds, it's a pleasure to see you again. No, oh, it's you again. It's, yeah, yeah, jolly good. Carry on. Yeah. Thank you. Um, well, a lot has happened in the webosphere since we last met, and in particular, one bit of good news is the development of the picture element. Ah, yes, uh, tremendously important that one, and uh, and one I'm personally very interested in. Yeah. Why is that? Well, what do you see? Uh, I don't like to blow my own trumpet, but uh, I actually started the ball rolling on that one. Yeah. Is that so? I don't remember hearing uh, your... Is, well, you see, I had this problem when making a home page of my manor house. You see, it's simply too big to fit a photograph of it on a small screen. Now, on my large uh, desktop personal computer, well, it looks spiffing. But when we go to a cordless telephone, well, it's simply too small to fit the entirety of my uh, country abode. So, something had to be done about it, and, <laughs> and I made that known. Uh, interesting. Well, as you know, um, there were initially two separate approaches, the picture element and the source set attribute, that seemed to oppose each other. Uh, at the beginning, so you must be very pleased that they've now come to a good compromise. Uh, well, look at you, you've done your homework again, haven't you? Yes, yes. yes of course, very pleasing to see that we have uh, two camps that uh, were fighting, were wrestling, uh, like gladiators, uh, perspiring, uh, yes, against each other, and now, well, they've joined together, haven't they? Like, uh, like young lovers, really. Like young lovers uh, gazing out at a, a glowing sunset over a shimmering sea, holding hands on a warm beach. Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, yes, indeed. So, uh, we have the picture element and the source set attribute uh, coming together to fix responsive images on the web. Not only that, but it's an effort that was driven by the web development community. It's the perfect solution, isn't it? Yes, well, you may think that, but uh, it's not perfect by any means. I just wish they'd asked me before it was too late. Right, but it was a community effort. You could have joined in at any time. <laughs> you young whippersnappers have, uh, have so much to learn now. Uh, a country gentleman such as myself doesn't have time to wade through mailing lists, you know. I mean, those birds aren't going to shoot themselves now, are they? I see. So, if you were asked for advice, what would you say? Well, I'd very kindly point out the one fatal flaw. Um, which is? Well, the name, of course. The picture element? Yes, spot on. Now, that's fine for photographs, etc. But what about these new fangled videos, eh? How is one to account for them? Well, the video element already works with media queries. Isn't that enough? Yes, you really are not as dim as you look, but, but no, no! Now, the picture element has so much more to offer, and yet it could so easily be perfected. And you have the perfect solution? Well, well yes, I do, as a matter of fact, uh, and it just takes two words, moving picture element. Well, actually, that's... Yes, you see, uh, and a new element entitled Moving Picture and Responsive Video is solved. Case closed! Yes, that's... That, well, of course, it would be invalid, though, wouldn't it? I beg your pardon? Well, you can't have an element consisting of two separate words, and even if you hyphenated them, it would be classed as a custom element, so I don't think that... Have you ever programmed in assembly language? I'm sorry? Have you ever hand-coded binary? Hey, have you? By candlelight? And on cards? And then had to wait a, wait a full week before you can go and get the results from some pretty young secretary? Have you ever And a very big thank you to Dr. Stanley Dards for those very enlightening thoughts. Goodbye.